Hey y'all, um, <clears throat> recording with my phone again today. Um, so I'm gonna try to hold y'all as steady as I can here. Just a really quick update, because um, I have to be somewhere really soon. So, today is my week 33 update since having VSG surgery on June the 23rd with Dr. Rossi in Charleston, West Virginia at CAMC Medical Center. I'm 44 years old, five foot four inches. Uh, my high weight was 259.6. Day of surgery was 247.6. Last week I weighed in at 176.8. And y'all, today I weighed in at 179.8, which means I'm up uh, three pounds from last week but I'm down 79.8 from the day of surgery, 67 point, or I'm sorry, 79.8 from my high weight, 67.8 from the day of surgery, and I've got um, 39.8 pounds to go until I reach my goal weight, if my goal weight stays 140, may or may not change. Um, last week I mentioned the stall that apparently I'm still having and how frustrated I was over it. Um, I have been trying to tell myself daily that this happens, this is normal, my body has been through a lot and I think it's just at the point where it's like, okay girl, I need a minute. Um, I mean, sometimes we just need a minute and, you know, mentally and I uh, you know, the same applies to our bodies. Um, it's a lot of weight to drop in a short amount of time. And so, keep trying to tell myself that. So, today, I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. Um, taking it one day at a time, which means, you know, next week I might come in and be like, hey, you know, I'm about to lose my stuff. Again, one day at a time. Next week it might be totally different. I'm going to try to keep it together and just keep moving forward, doing what I know I'm supposed to be doing. I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. Um, not eating in any way that I shouldn't be eating. Um, so, yeah, it's just part of the process, which is why I'm not letting it get to me today anyway so <laughs> but um, I have since I've been having this stall I have started working out and that's when the stall started um, I think round about the same time which is another reason that I'm not letting it bother me and please 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 guys do not let a stall shaking y'all the phone like earthquake and um, do not let a stall or fear of a stall keep you from exercising um, exercise is beneficial for so many things um, including your mental state I mean it helps me mentally um, depending how far you out from are out from surgery of course and I have noticed slight increase in appetite since working out daily and I'm okay with that um, as long as I eat the right foods then I think it'll be fine um, I think that my body is changing I'm noticing changes just in the last month since I started working out um, I've noticed a change in the last week since I've been hitting the weights a little differently uh, I've been doing some circuit training um, my clothes fit better so I'm not letting that scale determine what kind of day I'm having I'm not gonna let that scale be my only the only determining factor of my success I have more energy and um, I've been sleeping better and I just feel better overall so am I gonna stop working out and pull back on some calories and let my appetite decrease again because I'm styled Hell no. Yeah, I feel freaking amazing physically and mentally. Like, 
that's what exercise does for me and that's what exercise can do for you um, of course move at your own pace the main thing with exercise in my opinion is find something that you enjoy doing so that you will stick with it just because so and so on YouTube is over here doing you know laps in a pool at the wire and then so and so over here is doing hit workouts and then so and so over here is doing you know box jumps and this and that you don't have to do what so and so is doing over here and Karen's doing over there to be successful you do you you do what you enjoy you do what you love and you stick with that everybody's different everybody's bodies are different everybody's bodies respond differently to different exercises um, some people don't you know respond well to cycling for example but then they can go and hit the weights and bam 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 lose inches like that so find what works for you main thing is get your body moving and give it a week or two and tell me if you don't feel better I mean yeah and sure there's going to be days that you're going to get up and you're going to be like Ugh, I don't want to do this but that's when you get up and you do it anyway like uh, I, there's a saying a goal without a plan is just a wish well a wish without action is never going to happen a dream without action is never going to happen you cannot just sit back and wait for your perfect ideal body you've got to get off your ass and work for it if you've had surgery that's a step towards being a healthier better version of you um, just be grateful for where you're at be appreciative for the journey uh, I mean I am a lot of people, I personally know several people who want the surgery so bad they can't stand it and it's just not working out for them financially. Their insurance may not cover it and it just worked out for me that, you know, my insurance covered it and I'm super grateful for that. Um, super grateful that I'm physically even able to get up and exercise, okay? just And, and practicing gratitude is another thing. Like, I'm really big on body and mind or mind and body connection. And that's one reason why I'm trying to stay positive too because your body will respond to those negative thoughts that you have. And I, I know they're going to creep in. They're, they're going to creep up on everybody. But just don't ponder on them. Push it out and have some kind of positive you know, affirmation. Um, find your own positive affirmation. You don't have to use what somebody else says. You know, um, And say that to yourself out loud when those negative thoughts try to creep in uh, if you've got to say it to yourself 200 times a day say it 200 times a day whatever it takes okay um just if you're experiencing the same thing that i'm experiencing uh i'm right there with you i mean of course i just said if you're experiencing the same thing i'm experiencing but we're in this together guys um just hang in there and it's gonna it's gonna work out like I'm just like you know whatever happens it's gonna happen um, now does that mean that I'm just like you know my body's gonna do what it wants to do and I'm just gonna sit back and take it no because there is things that we can do to control that um, but I'm right now I'm just trying to like just give my body a minute like I said I, um, let your body ease into the new way of life, um, new activity if you're exercising. Um, let it adjust to, you know, if if you're like me and you're six, seven months out, that's a long time to go with such a, a huge calorie deficit. Let your body adjust to, you know, now needing more calories. And I, and I, said, I think that's what's happening with me. Um, to be honest, I'm at the point where I need more calories than what I was getting in. And so I started eating more. And so that was another change for my body to have to deal with. So a lot of changes going on. And I'm just trying to, you know, I, I know I'm rambling. I've probably repeated myself. Might have even said something that, you know, sounded like I'm contradicting myself. But 
I hope I'm making sense on this. Um, guys, I'm just, like I said, it is what it is. Right now, I'm just, again, taking it a day at a time, doing what I can do. I'm not going to let myself get super stressed out over things that um, I can't control. I'm just going to do what I can about the things that I can control. So, yeah, I said all that to get to that. But uh, that's about it. Um, not a lot's changed. Um, and I know, and, and fluctuations in our weight is really common. Uh, I have said before, I am a daily weigher, and I got into the habit of that whenever I was having um, some issues with fluid retention, and my doctor was having me to keep a food journal and weigh daily to see how different foods was. Um, my body was reacting to different foods as far as fluid retention. And so I just kind of got into the habit of that. If you can't get on the scale every day without it screwing up your whole day, then don't get on the scale every day. Um, I mean, I might get on the scale and be like, ugh. But then, I, you know, I come downstairs and I get busy doing something and I'm, I'm over it before long um, and then I'm just like you know what I mean just eat how I know I'm supposed to eat today and just do what I can you know but if it's if want to put you in like this state of mind that you're down in the dumps all day or you're frustrated or you're just agitated and it's gonna make you grumpy and in a bad move mood um boo just stay off that scale don't let that little thing sitting in your bathroom determine what kind of day you're going to have, okay? I'm guilty, um, but the only thing we can do is just kind of talk yourself into a better mood and just remember all the things that we have to be grateful for. Um, that helps me anyway, so. But uh, I'm eating more calorie-dense foods, able to get more protein in with actual food, and not so many uh, protein shakes. I do still have an iced coffee um, every day. I've cut back on the size of cup that I was having the iced coffee in. So, um, cutting back on that, I'm sure has had a lot to do with why I'm sleeping better um, and why I'm able to get some more food in too. Um, and again, like, well, the exercise too because that will naturally increase your appetite, but don't be scared of it. Just give your body proper fuel. Um, yeah, I'm looking at this, my daughter's cat. He's sitting here staring at me. I'm just waiting on him to pounce towards me any second. That's what he does. He stares me down, and then he claws me down, so. He's busied himself with the plant now. He knows he's not supposed to be doing it as well. But, okay, I'm rambling. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. Quit. Go on, Boots. Okay, sorry. Um, but stick with your program. Um, if you, you know, have a um, oh, nutritionist that you can call, your dietitian through your surgeon's office, if, you know, if you're stalled and you've been stalled for, longer than what you feel like you need or should be stalled, reach out to him or her. Um, if, you know, you're still in contact with your therapist, if that was a requirement for you before surgery, uh, reach out to him or her too. Um, just do whatever you feel like you need to do that's best for you. For me, that has been ex continuing to exercise just because I know the end result of that is going to be better and worth a little stall temporarily. Um, and another thing that has helped me is meditation. Um, but that might not be your jam. Just find your own groove and dance to it, sister. But I'm going to let you guys go now. Um, I keep rambling about nothing. I tend to get real scatterbrained and in a hurry and ramble. Y'all know this, especially when I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, but 
I want to thank you for watching and thank you for hanging in there with me from day one. You guys that have been subscribed from since day one, I appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, I would also appreciate it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit that little bell and you'll be notified when I update weekly. Um, and I'm just, oh, another thing I'm grateful for is you guys. The weight loss community on YouTube is like freaking awesome, guys, okay? Just freaking awesome. And I appreciate every one of you. Um, I don't have a huge following, but hey, I'm going to show up every day for how many of y'all take the time out of your day to watch me because I appreciate you. Um, if you have a channel, drop it in the comments and let me know, and I will follow you back. And um, that's that's what we need to do with, uh, for you guys, or for each other, you guys, is just lift each other up, uh, continue to support each other, and take it one day at a time. But thank you guys for watching again. I know I've already said that, but I really can't say that enough. And I will be coming back in before my next weight update with a um, update on my no spend February and just the small grocery store run that I'm going to be doing. And guys, follow along with me, shop along with me, and see if I stick to my budget. Hopefully. Okay. See you guys soon.